people of all ages with Res Le- 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 Lee Tenebris. Did I pronounce that right? <laughs> Did I pronounce no? Not Lee Tollison. Lee. Lee Tollison. Res Tenebris was actually a name I used. I had to use. It means the dark or something in Norwegian because I was a. Uh, it was my alias for stuff when I was working with the government, but it doesn't mean anything anymore. Okay, dope. Well, we're with Lee, with Para. <laughs> Can you tell me how to pronounce your name? I'm sorry, Lee. Lee again. Tollison. Lee Tollison. I apologize. My goodness. Um, you can uh, cane me later. So anyway, we're with Lee, with uh, Para Inu, and uh, we're just doing an AMA here. If anybody, um, I don't know how we should start this. We didn't really have a meeting beforehand. Um, I'm open to suggestions. I, I'm just a little too loosey goosey. So, you know, that's why I invited my, my organized and much smarter, better half, uh, TMC McCarty, same half of the picture anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, to help us uh, with this AMA. So maybe we could start by, maybe you could just tell us what the coin's about, you know, what the, um, tell, you know, sort of give us a rundown of the basics, the white paper, et cetera, and uh, we can go from there. Yeah, I mean, the basics, I mean, we, we launched nine days ago. Um, the basics of uh, I mean, these tokenomics right now, I think, are sitting um, at uh, 2%. Actually, I'm, I'm going way too fast. I need to back up a little bit. Um, I'm trying to think where to start on the white paper. Um, we, we launched a token. After, I've been wanting to launch a token for a long time, and... Uh, after watching the TZKI rug pull, uh, kind of expedited that. Um, just kind of got pissed me off. I wasn't, didn't happen to be a, a victim of that. I, I actually got out of uh, a week or so before because I noticed some weird stuff. But my brother was. Uh, my brother's two thousand dollars is worth like ten dollars today, or maybe even less. Who knows? Uh, so it just pissed me off. And uh, I've been in the d- defense space for fifteen plus years now. And everything we do has to be completely, completely transparent. I mean, you do anything stupid, I mean, you're it's you're done. And so watching this happen, watching these some of these little kids or people with these tokens with so much, um, so much money all of a sudden at their hands and not knowing what to do with it or just greed kicking in. Watching that happen, I just said, screw it, we're gonna launch a token. And so I started putting together a token. Um, <laughs> I actually said to Paltron when I first started working on it and it was going to be called the the, uh, the biscuit the biscuit to coin or something and I, it wasn't sitting right i was like there's something wrong with this like this isn't even me this is like outside of my space and we were going to work with you know i was trying to find a utility for it all these things and, and i was having a hard time so on a tuesday um I just uh was going to just scrap the whole thing and try to figure out what to do next and then that night and just all of a sudden perry Inu just like slapped me in the face i was like wait, just wait a second i've been in the defense space i work with special operations I uh, work with veterans. My wife is a clinical psychologist, has worked with veterans for years at different VA hospitals. I said, why not just do it in my space? Uh, I already knew some companies in our space, like U.S. Night Vision already has NFTs for sale on their website. They've been selling them for, for months now. And I think they even do a deal. If you buy an NFT, you get like a discount off of Night Vision too. And they actually sold a lot doing that uh, that way. So I uh, just started putting this together. And then when I did uh, kind of everything we did, we wanted it to be different. And we didn't want to do... I mean, we call it para Inu, and I know some people are like, hey, you're, you, you, you think you might drop the Inu later? And I was like, you know what? Um, yeah, actually, it was over Inus myself, but because all the Inus, there's all these, all those rug pull Inus, not all of them, but all the rug pull Inus that had just happened, um, I was like, let's keep Inu in it, and we'll make it the Inu that, that we've all been for one year, but that's only because everybody on the... Uh, AMA that day was telling me not to lock it all for a hundred years. <laughs> but, uh, so we did that. Um, we started out with a, like well drain protection at 1%, um, transaction max. Um, we did, uh, we, we're a fully docs team. I mean, you can find a LinkedIn, you can find me. I've got way more to lose in the real world than I do in the crypto world. Uh, I'm not calling this real world, but What we also did is we had a giant wallet, and we still have a giant wallet sitting there. Uh, we've been doing these giant burns. Every 500 holders, we've been burning uh, 50 quads. 
until it's all gone. Um, and our last burn we did on New Year's Eve was a $10 million burn. Uh, just, just that night, we burnt $10 million in tokens. The one before that, I think, was $5 million. The one before that was $1.3 million. And the one before that was a $1 million. So we're going to keep up burning. Um, just kind of everybody's like, hey, what, there's a giant wallet sitting there. What the crap's going on? I said, listen, I said, I'm okay for slow growth. Um, actually, we grew out the gate a little faster, way faster than I wanted to. But I said, I'm okay with slow growth because, growth because the time we burn, by the time we burn the last bit of that wallet, I want to cement trust in the entire world into our project. And so we're going to continue to do that. Um, as far as we have not uh, turned over ownership either, so I can still change taxes and things. Uh, we started out the gate with, uh, with higher uh, liquidity and marketing and reflections. And then now we've already changed it. I think we're now 2% uh, we're 2% uh, reflections, 2% auto burn. We are two, uh, 3% marketing. We are uh, 1% uh, development. We are 1% charity. And I'm did I do my fingers right? Was that all of them? I feel like it's a 10% total. Uh, and so it's a 20% round trip. Uh, but a 10% total on taxes uh, coming in and 10% going out. But uh, the women to get that, uh, probably bump that charity up to 2% too. We're going to have all 2%. And uh, the, biggest, the, the biggest thing behind it too is uh, with what my wife deals with, with, with people I work with, is that we're going to do these big veteran life change events. Uh, we're about to launch on our website the uh, All in All the Time Foundation partnership that we're doing with them. Um, so they can, until we get our 501c3, uh, that we can actually uh, do life change events through them. Uh, we posted something on our website where you can actually go and nominate a veteran uh, for a life change event. And um, we actually have some really, really solid uh, applicants already. Um, but we obviously, I'm, I, before this, I was never into telling people, like telling people, you know, if you give, give money, never really publicize it. Cause that's, you know, I think that's kind of whatever, but now we're going to have to publicize what we give um, so we can show the changes we're making around the world. And we're not just doing U.S. veterans either. I got, I've got friends in the commanders in Australia, uh, SASR guys. I've got uh, friends that are now paraplegics in the Middle East, uh, you know, in UAE and different things that, you know, all over the world, um, veterans. So we're not just keeping it here. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're doing there. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, as far as what we're doing, um, we're putting all the, I may have already talked about that, but we're putting all of the um, expenses on our website. We have an expense tractor, tra tracker. Uh, Jesse's been throwing, Jesse, my brother, he's our, he's our CFO. He's a CPA. He actually works for uh, some of my other companies already. And uh, he's been putting all the expenses and transactions up there. I just have to go back and sit with him to tell him what they were. Um, so we'll try to get that done tonight. But uh, sorry, TMs, I see a hand up. I don't know if that, what that means. Do I stop talking? Yeah, no, you, you don't have to stop. But uh, <laughs> Lee, so full disclosure, on the back end right now, for the people on Telegram that might not have Twitter and stuff, I posted it. I'm, I'm live right now on YouTube just being able to share the audio. And as you're talking, I have the website open. So showing the tax uh, tokenomics right now. I just showed them the, the um, nominate a veteran right now. So as you're talking, I also have the expense tracker open. So, yeah, just, you and you know. can see there's some blanks there. Like it says, uh, some of them say what they're for. The other ones I just need to go to, uh, tell Jesse. We gotta sit down and I gotta. He's following the wallets. Like when it, to just protect my family and everybody, I put all the wallets in a bank, um, so I can't the, all the the access to the big wallets are in a, in a bank vault, and and, and also the, all the backups are in another bank. So right now, the only thing we've used out of there, we started using the marketing wallet and we put it into a marketing spend wallet. So. If someone stops me on the street, I only have fifteen thousand uh, dollars, roughly fifteen or twenty grand that they I, that I could lose versus millions. Um, so yeah, I need to sit down with Jesse, and, and he has all the wallet addresses he's been tracking, um, just all the transactions, and then uh, I just need to tell him what each thing was for. If you notice on there too, he actually put in the transactions. So Certic uh, yesterday morning, it took me weeks. Certic is a little a lot slower than uh, Tech Rate. Before we launched, we actually had Tech Rate audit us twice. Just so I 100% knew that at least there was nothing, you know, we were at least good to a certain extent, like we're, we're good to launch. And then, but knowing we were going to have Certec uh, do our audit out the gate as well. So Certec has been paid for now. Um, we should show onboarding any day now. Um, so we, those, uh, those expenses, I think we're even put on there, uh, the, uh, the sell of our tokens for that. 
What else did I miss? <laughs> no, you actually ran through um, a lot of the gist or a lot of the basis. So I, w- I was touching on what what really sold me on para, you know, and anybody that knows me, I don't, I don't talk just to talk. Um, it's, it's, it's for the substance aspect of it. And what really sets you apart, Lee, and this is me wholeheartedly speaking is when I jumped in the telegram that morning of the launch and you setting up all the anti bot mechanisms to make it the fairest launch I a hundred percent have ever been a part of in the crypto space and anything in general. Um, and also the fact of we, we joke about it, but, you know, there were some members of the Telegram that weren't ready when you were about to inject. And for you to say, is everybody good? Is there, and then people are like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, and you waited. And then on top of that, no one in the Telegram got upset. No one said, oh, come on, I'm ready now. Everybody was like, OK, cool, because it, it's a fair launch. The maximum amount of, for those that don't know, the maximum amount of uh, purchase you were allowed to do at launch and during the launch was only 0.5 ethereum but so you were we, only we, able to we tried to do that but the my coder he uh he only let it he was supposed to be that but we actually can only go down to one percent of uh one percent so that we, we that was the goal and <laughs> but right sorry. so and and i did notice that after but i was like oh, i'm fine because you know i would have bought more at one time but again regardless it was the fairest launch that a developer, a f- fully doxed transparency out the wazoo. And then this really blew me apart, what I have open on my screen right now, the expense tracker. I have never ever, like I'm the nerd when it comes to the crypto space. And so is Faltron to really dig deep in the decentralized side of things, to find people through transaction hashes, no matter how many times they try to hide in different wallets, right? So the fact that you have all this there, it's like it puts you at, such your mind at ease to know okay this is where i know the liquidity while it's going and then when we do nominate veterans and their families for you know the charitable events to see okay wow this is exactly that there's no if ends and buts about it it's it's fully there um so that alone just eliminates any potentiality of any type of fud right and just being a part of this project since i've been in the telegram It's been nothing but positivity. And that's what I've been telling people is the recipe. And you're going to start seeing like you're literally trend setting right now, Lee. You don't know it yet, but you're 100 percent setting the trend on how these community driven tokens should be. And I love how you put about the Eno because I know a lot of people even ask me about that. And, you know, I was on the fence. But the fact that you said, listen. Shiba Inu was amazing, and then everything after that that kind of tried to follow it that st- stuck with the name Inu. A lot of them turned, you know, rug pulls aren't taken that serious. But for you to say, listen, I want to show that the Inu can carry a lot of weight in this space, right? And be a legitimate, sustainable project that not only brings a real use case, but provides good to the world. So, you know, my hat's off completely to you. Just just from the example you've set from day one, came in, set the standard, been genuine as any person I could ever know. Um, you know, I, I'm just honestly thankful to even be a part of the project. I appreciate it, dude. You guys are awesome. We have a really cool community. I've talked to a lot of people. I've not ever launched a token before, but I've been a part of other communities in tokens, and I've tried to get involved with the devs of other tokens, and I could never... One, never get the dev to respond anything to me. And, uh, and yeah, my inbox is like, I don't know how many thousands of messages deep now in Telegram. Um, but just, uh, I was talking to somebody else and they said, well, it was since, since 2003, they hadn't seen, is what she said. She hadn't seen the type of community. Uh, it had been that long. Our community is incredible. We have so many people like working all night, working all the time to build stuff. Our team of everybody just kicking Working, working their butts off, and I know that like we hit like a two hundred and like two hundred eighty million uh, uh, market cap, or uh, not in full. That's a diluted market cap, isn't it? But we hit that, and it was just like every other token, we come down. We had whales go in and out, and um, but you know, I'm shooting high. I mean, we got some big. The meeting I just left was with uh, one of the largest um, NFT storage providers in the world. Um, just left, like. I'm, I'm actually still in their office in a uh, in one of their conference rooms, <laughs> but um, 
Anyway, so we're, we're talking with them, talking with uh, one of the huge. Uh, so my my connections in the world. I mean, just, I'm just a poor Arkansas boy that you know been to hell and back again. Grew up with uh, you know my dad was an alcoholic for 20 plus years. Grew ate out of dumpsters for two years of my life when I was a kid, and but everything I've been through has made like I have perspective that I I, I wouldn't trade any of that for the world. And what's important, my family and the people around you and all of this is money is just money. Um, at the end of the day, it's just it's just stuff. Um, but uh, so I've been able to, to to foster some relationships with some pretty heavy hitters around the world. I had posted I started posting some of those uh, like the uh, the former prime minister of India and me uh, years ago in, in India and then uh, with the ambassador to Pakistan or generals. And I, I have more people I'd post. I just have to get approval to do that. Um, just just happen to just be blessed with good relationships. Um, and then in UAE and Saudi, uh, being the strongest in the world right now, uh, my relationships in those countries are almost unmatched. Um, I was on with one of the shakes this morning in DC and talking about um, uh, <clears throat> uh, Bed Oasis. And because uh, we want to get on exchanges over there. I've got actually guys in the Presidential Guard Command in UAE now. I have already, they just yesterday told me, hey, Lee, we bought some of your token. So we have guys, like the, their special forces guys in those countries actually buying our tokens now too. So uh, regardless of what the chart looks like today or even across the board, it looks like a Bitcoin took a hit today, a uh, pretty big one. But we're going we're gonna to keep trucking. I've got bigger goals for the next 12 months with all the things we're, we're going to be rolling out with. So while we have Lee here, does anybody that um, would like to come up and ask Lee a question? Hey, everybody at the bottom right, if you see that feather with the plus, um, go ahead and tweet this room out. Done. Meta. It's done, Meta. It's done. I did it. All right. Go ahead. Uh, we got our first question from Mark. Hey, Lee. Hello, Mark. Hey, Lee. Thanks so much for uh, taking the time to answer some questions and stuff. So, been, no worries. been super excited um, since, a, since a buddy of mine brought this up to me just a few days ago. And um, I'm sure, as you know, uh, in a household where one family member isn't well versed in crypto, getting the message across to my wife about what an amazing campaign this <laughs> seems to be. Um, there's something about crypto and a happy wife. They go very well together. Um, I want to thank you for being so transparent to where showing her and sitting down and talking to her about crypto last night. She woke up this morning and she shot straight out. Hey, put whatever you think we need to put into Para Inu. You put whatever you think we should to support this program. So thank yeah. you for that. She did, of course, like a good wife, <laughs> come up with a couple of great questions. She wanted some follow-up. So if I may, yeah. she was uh, yeah. curious, um, following the roadmap, the social media campaign, the marketing launch, and specifically yesterday on the website, there was um, you were very transparent with the wallets, um, had still shots of them, and then they disappeared late not last night. Are you guys working on something for a live wallet, um, or is that something you're going to pull back and actually hold a little transparency um, because you are being so open and upfront with everybody? Well, so on the wallet thing, we had some futters, and we try. I think we'll hopefully be taking care of that. We had some futters actually going behind messaging all of our people. They started a campaign like Saturday night <clears throat> to try to get a bunch of people to jump from our token to another token. I didn't realize kind of who it was or what was going on fully, um, but they were telling people that, oh, well, your contract's not working. You're not, they're ta taxing correctly, and you can't see the transaction hashes of all the taxes. And either two things one, they had no idea what they're talking about, or two, they knew exactly what they were talking about, and they were going after us, anyways. Um, if you know how smart contracts work, uh, when you guys get reflections, there are no transaction hashes on your reflections. They just show up, right? You don't, there's not a special transaction hash showing up in your account. That's exactly how marketing, um, the reflection works for the marketing account, the same for charity. All of it's the same. And so he was doing that. And so I said, you know what, screw it. So I, we went, went to the bank, took pictures, because that's the thing I have to, in order to update that every day, um, I have to actually go to the bank and update. I have to take a picture there just for security of my family and stuff. I don't have access to those right now. Um, so 
to move money to marketing, I go to the bank to, to I move it to the marketing spin wallet and then I, I leave and it's back secure again. All I have is that marketing spin wallet. We had posted those. So this guy and I sent them to him, not knowing that it didn't matter what I sent him. He was going after us anyways, just showing you, hey, guys, look, look how many tokens are in here. Look, they're actually like, here are these wallets. Um, and so yesterday when one of our um, big influencers was on, I was talking to her manager yesterday. And uh, he asked about those, hey, these are a day old. Well, they were from the third. Yesterday was the fourth. And he was like, well, yeah, you need, you need to update these every day. I said, I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if I can get to the bank every day to update what's in those wallets. Um, so we took them down just so I was like, okay, well, I'll go ahead and take them down for now. Um, I can put them back up. I just, that was the reason was, they were pulled down. I was actually going back and forth with her manager. And I was like, you know, we can pull them down because the reason we put them up in the first place was just because this futter who was going to FUD regardless, um, had, uh, that, that was the whole purpose behind that. Awesome. Thanks for that. Um, as far as the social media campaign and marketing launch, I tried to, I tried to do as much background research before jumping on today. Have you found a marketing firm? Um, I know your other partner in the project is the photographer and fantastic and everything looks great. I know, uh, I watched a video, um, a few days ago, you may have done an AMA with somebody else where you were uh, looking at bringing a marketing team on for the social media and the marketing launch. How's that coming? So right now, uh, Genji is working on all of the um, the Twitter stuff. He took that over uh, late last week. Um, and then as far as the marketing, we talked to uh, Aston's been doing all the Telegram stuff. I don't know if Aston's in here, too. Um, then uh, I don't know. Can I talk about... I mean, Meta's been helping a bunch, too, with all of the influencers. Um, sorry, I'm talking. You guys have to stop me from talking. I'm not going to know how much, how much of No, no, you can say that. Um, yeah, sure. crypto, crypto Twitter is big, man. So we've just been hitting crypto Twitter real hard. Um, next focus is YouTube. So, sorry. Yeah. No, no, YouTube, YouTube and even um, uh, Instagram. So my, uh, yeah, we're, that, we were asked about Instagram even by this big influencer yesterday. And then, uh, so they're working on that. And then as far as a marketing firm, that was actually discussed. I, I had a conversation, I think, with Aston about that last night, too. We were talking about just the future of this is that we probably do need to just turn this over to a firm um, as we go continue to develop. Um, we're doing, these guys are doing incredible. Our team, like Meta and Aston and everybody, Faltron for hosting this. We've had so much support. But, yeah, you're right. At some point, we do have to turn this over because it's going to be treated like, I mean, we're an official. We're an parent. You knew Inc., is a company uh, set up in Wyoming. I mean, we're an official company and everything, so we're going to run this like, like I believe I own multiple companies, like I believe a company should be run. But yeah, you're right. Somebody should take take that over full time. Um, but right now, that's what we're doing. Yeah, and that, that would be essentially to organize it a lot more. But yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Hey, thanks, Lee. I truly appreciate you answering those questions. Again, that's just going to give uh, me more confidence to go out and, and really – get my friends and family to support this program and buy in even more. Um, it's a great program. You've got great answers and uh, look forward to going a long way with you guys. Thanks for your time. I, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Mark, for coming up. I just want to touch on one point uh, that you that you spoke on, Lee, when it comes to transparency, right? I always say it's a double-edged sword because you could be in a project and there's no transparency and the the community's like asking for transparency, begging for it, right? And then you give them so much. And the amount of transparency that you have provided this community since launch is just ridiculous. There's projects that have been out for one, two, three, four, five years and haven't even provided this standard of transparency to their community. And it goes to say, no matter how transparent and how much you give, there's still going to be people out there that just have stuff to say. Right. And that's why we say in this space, you cannot be impressionable. Um, you always have to do your own research, no matter what anybody brings to you, whether positive, negative. It's always on you to go look things up, ask questions. But I, I, I commend you for always doing as much as you can for the community. From the smallest request, I know you respond to people's DM messages, and I'm, I, I can imagine now you, you're, you're so overloaded with things. But just, just a, a genuine appeal that you have for the community and the people that support you and you're just, you know, you're just always open to be there. It's amazing. I appreciate it.
No, we have, and that's why the hard part part is with social media because I've been off of it for years because of some of the contracts I worked on for the last six years. Getting on a year is you have to. I'm being told that you got to post. You know, we they're posting all the time, but now it's hey Lee, you got to start posting all the time. And I was like, guys, if I keep posting, if I keep getting the MA, M, these these AMAs, or we got to develop our world changing uh, utilities. We have four of them in the works right now. And only two uh, of those are public. <laughs> Go ahead. Can Slim Jesus who, who can, Slim up here? Hey, I, oh, I, I got to talk to you. Here we go. Hey, hey uh, sorry, Slim. You got to wait in line like everybody else. Next yeah. question is actually nature. <laughs> yeah, nature and then you're up, Slim. Oh, nature boy. and then you're up, Slim. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. So uh, I have I have no question. So, but uh, what I want to discuss here is related to uh, if you know, I, I don't know if you know or not, uh, Lawrence uh, Brooks, he just died. I think a couple hours back, he's he was the oldest veteran, U.S. veteran from the World War II. So, like, do we plan to uh, pay a tribute to him? I didn't even know. I didn't even know that happened. Yeah, we'll have to do something for sure. That's, yeah, I didn't know that happened. Wow. Is there a link? Is there a way you could uh, maybe post a link uh, or tweet about a link to the Memorial Fund or whatever it is you found? And uh, we can talk about uh, talk about that with Lee. Yes, sure, I will do that. Thanks. Thank you, Nature. Thank you so much. Great question. Okay, here we go. We got Slim. Please be kind and respectful. I definitely will. <laughs> this Any is my first. Great questions you have. This, this is my first. Saltron, it's okay. We hear you talk enough. Just shh. Now, look, I don't know if this guy's ever heard of me, but what I do is I, you know, I've been in the space a while, so I like to ask the right questions. So I appreciate what you're doing with veterans. I mean, I don't know if you know this, but my parents are both veterans. My dad was a SEAL. I'm looking at their ashes right now on my mantle. So Absolutely. I appreciate that if you're doing this out of a goodness of your heart, but I'm very critical of coins, tokens, and projects that are using illnesses, to hear me out, illnesses, veterans, children, missing children. I'm just a little leery because you just said something a minute ago where you said worldwide changing. Now, Somebody like me who's made millions of dollars in this space, okay, I want to know what the technical details are that you're going to show me, right, and your roadmap and your plan, not just hype. I want to see actually how you say you're going to arrive at a deliverable where you say, I'm going to do, we're going to do world-changing things. That to me is not a deliverable. That is a hype. There's no way to gauge that. So I need to see technical real details of how you plan to get there and how you've arrived at that decision that you can manifest that. So, so I guess there's a multi-part answer to your question. I mean, one is the world changing uh, of veterans' lives to their families. Um, all in all, the Time Foundation is um, the, the people surrounding that are actually, funny enough, are SEALs. Uh, those are all Tier 1. Uh, it's the foundation that support Tier 1 uh, guys and their families. Um, we, uh, I guess when you say using, I guess you'd have to know me, um, as far as using people's names or using veterans to grow a project. Cause that was just, yeah, like Brad Beatty does where he puts his kid out there like that and makes her cry on film. I just find it very tacky. So yeah, yeah, please don't sure. do stuff like that. If, oh, you, if heck, you don't mind. Heck no. You know? uh, and that's why we, before this, I believe guys, I, I'm sorry. I'm a believer in the Bible. I believe that, uh. Um, you're not supposed to let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. When you give, you should be giving in secret, and nobody should know about it. And so this, the fact that we have to make, when we do give to veterans, we have to make it public, is the only reason to do that is to keep growing the project so we can give to more veterans. Um, if, if it were up to me, um, sorry, I'm not a huge fan of social media, uh, and that's a horrible thing to say here. Um, but um, if it were up to me, you know, we would continue to give in secret if it was possible, um, because I don't know. I've uh, where I've been, who I know, um, the guys that I know that have been impacted by that, the people that my wife, uh, she specializes in severe, severe mental illness, and she works with veterans a lot. She doesn't work at a VA hospital anymore, but I know the days when she comes home, and I know that, that she's, she's worked with veterans that day because there's almost like, even though she's a psychologist, there's almost like the road to recovery. The cracks that are just completely walked away from is incredible. 
and we've had AMAs. We had AMAs where we, um, we had, I was in tears on Saturday just talking about some of these guys. So I don't know how to That's get what I want to hear. That's I, nice sentiment, I, bro. That, okay, so that I can believe, I can get behind what you're saying. If you mean this and you really are going to do this for veterans, because you are correct, you've done your research. Mental health is the hardest part for veterans to, to reach them. They can get all the physical help. We can get them into offices, but it's truly what we yeah. can't see. So you know what? I'm humbled yeah. by that. If you really are going to do this and you really have sentiment behind this and you truly want to help, I believe you will attract who can help you do that. So I appreciate you taking the questions because I will be looking for the technical details. I do want to invest. I have been looking into it. Yeah. And so I'm my girlfriend sitting over here. I always say that she's a veteran. She gets great care at the VA, but mental health is hard to come by, man. Well, then now your girlfriend would know. So this is something that I, because I was not a veteran. I was a SWAT. I was a SWAT instructor. I was a sheriff deputy. That's as close awesome. as I ever got. Sweet. I work with special operations, the special operations guys around the world. That means, that means a lot to me. That means a lot to me. And so I guess your girlfriend might know, and my wife tells me this, and other veterans tell me there's, I guess, different VAs. Um, only They only offer, some VAs offer things that other VAs don't. And then Correct. all VAs, there are things that all VAs don't offer at all. And so when we were Correct. talking about life change events, we wanted to see like if we can, maybe there's something that a, vet, a veteran needs that's not offered at any VA, and we can go put set up an account for him that it draws directly into the VA. Um, Very good. And, and it can pay for it can pay for a year of some type of um, of of service for him. Some type um, of intervention to get them the help they need. Very exactly, good. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and then my wife's going to keep feeding me. She has her, we were about to actually, she was launching her private practice right after the new year. She's working for another private practice. And then after this thing kind of went crazy last week, I said, listen, what do you think about just not working? Like, what do you think about just working? Give me like work, work with this. Give me, continue to feed me stats, continue to feed me. I mean, we, we talked on Saturday, what a veteran kills themselves every 60 seconds. Yes. And why we have this phone call, we've been on here for 34 minutes did we really just lose 34 guys in the U S is that yeah. really, and are we okay with it? Like it, it, I literally had to keep my dad going for two years after my mom passed. Cause he was a seal and he made it through three tours. He watched his buddies get vaporized, but he couldn't handle being in the room with my mom when, when she passed with me. And so he struggled with it a lot. I had to call him every night. I had to talk to him for hours on the phone just to keep him from, from wanting to do something like that. So if he could reach out and have someone, that would be really cool. So I'm going to end with this, man. Look, there's a lot of people that are entering this space right now more than ever. And I'm, we're seeing 90% of the people that are in crypto have entered in the last year or less, actually. So there's a lot of people running around FOMOing into crypto, but there's a lot of devs and developers FOMOing into making a project. Well, these projects, they have to be right. They got to be good. And there's a lot of people that are just getting excited and they're, they want to create something. They want to get involved but they don't really don't know how to do it or what they're doing in there. So they're just getting started and they're going to develop it along the way. So if you've put a lot of thought into it, sounds like you have, you got all the hallmark, you got all the markings of, of a non villain. So <laughs> well, no, I'm proud I, of you. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, can I follow you? Do you mind if I follow you with my oh, real account, my actual account? This is my I'll dupe follow. account. Oh, yeah. no, this, okay. Well, this is my dupe account, but I'll go to my other, my, my actual one and follow you and we'll talk if yeah. you don't mind. Reach out too. I mean, I want to do a, uh, we want to shoot. I have access to a lot of veterans as well and, and police and things like this. Yeah. And we want, so we're already talking, we want to get, uh, we, ha we want to get into VAs. I'm, I'm trying to get approval right now for the VA system to let us operate inside the VAs in the U S and obviously we won't want to just sit there. Uh, we had some guys on from the UK and Australia that they said, once we get that figured out, if we can use the, like the case, if we can get into the, the U S VA system, and we can turn that over to them and say, hey, guys, this is what we're doing in the USVA system. Can you go replicate this in your country? Um, that's, and then they're ready to do it. So we're trying to get in. My, uh, my sister oh, – sorry, no, I'm, i got to stop talking about people. I have a family member who is still a, a major in the Army, um, she, uh, and she works at a VA as well. And, um, yeah, so we still have people inside the VA that can help us with this too. Um, yeah. All right. Well, cool, man. Well, I, my, I, I could have my girl go in and talk when she goes into the VA. She's very well known down there. And, you know, and I'm going to dox myself a little bit uh, tonight on, on uh, the AMA with Falchon. Uh, I'm going to disclose where I am, what state I'm in. Okay. So here, well, in well, here in Arizona, they do have yeah. a need for this type of thing right now where I'm currently living. So um, 
yeah, did I can I have some connections? Well, I'm I'm all in. We already have we already have a, a good amount in our, in our charity wallet. Um, I'm trying to get to everything finished and lined up with all in all the time so we can do it that way because I'm not just going to give money to the VA. I mean, the, the U.S. government is a giant <sighs> mess. But <laughs> we want to... Hum- you humbled the villain. <laughs> Listen, I'm very hard on this whole process. <laughs> Listen, it's been, a, it's been a crazy thing. You know, all these rug pulls, all this shit, all these people getting taken advantage of. I'm just an agent of truth. And so I do grill on AMAs. I do know the questions yeah. to ask. I do understand the overhype and under-delivering and some some companies, some coins and tokens and projects are very good at they're better at hyping it and promoting it than they are at actually building it. So we're looking forward to the final product, sir. Yeah. I Thank you for your time. Oh, no, Thank it, you so much. I appreciate it. They said, uh, my guys, even the, the marketing guys, even Genji's like, Lee, you got to start feeding me stuff. Uh, give it all to me and I'll feed it to them. Uh, the way the science of marketing of social media. Because I just want to share everything. I was like, guys, I'm super excited about all of it. I've never, I mean, I've, I've watched all these projects and the community we have, and this one's incredible. And I just want to go out there and do it. I mean, we have a bunch in our marketing wallet, or, I mean, our charity wallet already. I want to, I mean, we, we have enough. We could go do a couple life change events, like from today right now. We could go do it. And so I'm just, uh, hopefully. Well, you attracted this crowd, sir. So you're on the right track. So just keep it up and keep showing them what they need to see. And these are, they, they, there's a lot of very intelligent people in this room that will scrutinize, but once they see what they need to see, they'll be the most loyal. So good job, man. I don't, I, you got balls to come out and do this, you know, to make this happen, to create something like this. That takes a lot of heart and it takes a lot of balls. So I wish you well. I appreciate Thank you so much. Wow. Slim, thank you. Slim Jesus is super nice. What are you talking about? Yeah, that, that <laughs> that's monumental, but he slim, slim brings up great points. Um, in the fact of there is so many new people coming into the crypto space. There are so many gimmicks at times. And there's so many people that come into this space that are innocent, that become impressionable, and that get taken advantage of. You know, shame on development teams of certain projects, et cetera, et cetera. So, though, no, those are, those are straightforward questions. Because the same thing, I have friends that are in the military. And, uh, you know, we, we spoke about my time with, with the fire service. Um, so... I'll tell them about how I'm in crypto and they already know how, you know, making money and stuff like that. But the aspect of how it's supporting veterans sounds good, but what's the follow through, right? So again, unbeknownst to me, I don't know any legitimate project in the cryptocurrency realm that is doing anything like this, right? So if this has written, I'm not doubting you at all, um, Lee, I'm, I'm saying this again from a genuine spot in my heart. If this has the solid follow through and I'm on the I'm on the all in on the all the time website and your plans, this can be literally groundbreaking to what to open up to what not only just crypto should be, but this space in general and how we can give back to, you know, obviously those that some made the ultimate sacrifice and some gave, you know, everything, um, whether here in the United States and all across the world. So that's something my girlfriend that ever- brought. My girlfriend lost a lung um, due to the Gulf War. She breathed, breathed in a lot of those, <laughs> those that oil that was in the air in the oil fields, you know. So yeah, man, it's real. Wow. And nerve and agents as well. Tell tell her thank you very much. Seriously, I didn't. I mean, it'll be the biggest regret of my life. That hey, I hold on. Here. But that hey, was, yeah. hundreds of people want to thank you. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> thank you so much. Seriously, I can't even. I, I didn't even. I haven't touched anything that you've done. Um, everything you've given the sec. I I can't even. Uh, not even close. That's incredible. I keep thank in you. line. I keep Slim in line. Trust me. <laughs> well, they were warning me about Slim, but so all I see, Slim's awesome. I love Slim. I give yeah, him on you. That, <laughs> and I, was talking about, I was talking about how you could talk to the VA about this coin, this token that is going to help veterans. Well, sure. Yeah, I could be able to do that. I'm part of the Million Veterans Program. Oh, awesome. Well, we, we want to get, actually, I know you would have to dox a little bit more. Maybe we can send it to a post office box. But we have, we're having challenge coins made, uh, pair of new challenge coins where people can actually, um, I mean, it's a physical thing, but we want to get them in VAs and stuff too. So um, getting them around, we can get them to you as well. Right. Um, and then as we start working in VAs. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. Just get with Slim. We'll be able to do that. Awesome. Thank you for your service. Well, thank, you, thank you. Yes. Thank you. For Slim, your you'll have to fly to, 
<laughs> Slim, if you'll, you'll fly to Fort Collins, I'll just hand them to you. That way you don't have to dox yourself. Okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'd right. like to. I'd like to join you, you guys take, for that. You one. can take me down, Paltron. I, you're, I'm having a rare moment, but so enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Slim. You do have good questions and really good points. There are a lot of cryptos that feed you a line of BS, and you know, yeah, you're totally 100 percent right about that. Um, okay, so thanks. I think we're. <clears throat> thanks for being nice today, Slim. Yeah, I'm gonna drop down too, guys. I got to be in another AMA, but thanks everybody for coming in. Right on, man. Thank you. Okay, I think we have B call up next. They got dropped, but they're reconnecting. Yeah, it's B call William and then Major A. Go ahead, B call. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brian. How you doing? Um, thank you uh, for doing what you're doing, Lee. Uh, one of the reasons I got involved. Uh, and I haven't been in crypto more than about three years. We have really identical backgrounds. And um, <clears throat> with that said, a lot of what Slim was asking and discussing was on my mind before and after I, you know, dropped in and, and purchased my first bag with you. Um, but the reason I did so was probably in relation to why a lot of other people in this room did so based on your, your mission at hand, the transparency and all that we could see on the surface. And my, my questions on the flip side, what do you do? And I don't care if they're in this room, I don't care where they are, but they are around. What do you, what do you, how do you sell the sauce to the people that don't care about the cause, but they aren't necessarily haters of the cause or anti-establishment, but even if they are, how do you sell the sauce to them, right? Because, yes, they could go elsewhere and make some money, yeah. and, but what if they really were thinking about getting involved, but not necessarily anti-American or anti-military or anti-cop, but yeah. what, what, what do you do if they could give two shits about vets and issues and everything yeah. that we're versed in? How do you sell the other populations, right, on the ultimate impact of the benefit behind this coin? Because I, I, I know where I stand. Many people do. And that's even a bonus if they're in this room and they don't support the cause, but they're still down because they know they know the end result it could be profitable. What do you do for those populations that really are not on with the arcing mission, right? And and the deliverables and the messages and the objectives, but they are crypto people. What do you do? Uh, sorry, I was just sending me a message. Um, no, um, uh, sorry, I gotta stop. My WhatsApp's going crazy. Um, I, I think you start with, uh, shoot, I, I think you start with just a, a movement. And I think that as, as hammering in trust, we talked about that. And I think that there are more people, I, I, I knew I was hungry for a, a more transparent uh, token. And I think that when we launched, we saw that like week one last week, we're like, wait a second, maybe way more people. Um, are more, uh, are more, dang, I'm, sorry. These are really, really distracting text messages I'm getting. Um, um, sorry. Um, dang, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to block my phone. I, I was always seeing. Um, anyway, sorry. There, we, we, after, during last week, um, just seeing that more more people were hungry for something just honest and true than what I kind of initially thought. Like, oh shoot, this is, and so whether it's just people coming in and invest to make money, said, listen, I, we plan on doing things that no one's ever done before. Whether these giant burns, uh, where other people have giant tokens and wallets, and you know everybody gets nervous about that, we've just been burning to the ground, and we're going to continue burning to the ground to the end. Um, and, and I was okay with doing a slow trust build. Um, and, and, you know, until we got there and then, you know, that was, that was that side of it. And then the other, the utilities, there's two utilities working on right now. Gosh, I want to talk about them so bad because those two utilities are working on will, uh, I, I, without completely unbiased, if somebody else launched these other two utilities, utilities today, um, it would change, it would change the crypto space forever. 
And so we're working on those two, uh, the NFT marketplace. We want to give utilities out there just to have utilities out there. Um, the NFT marketplace we talked about, I just talked to somebody today, went about this office about storage. Um, even let's say the artist can actually go make, you know, make the NFT and still make the residual income every time it's resold. What if we just cut that in half? We've talked about it in our other AMAs about can we assign the royalties or the continued sale to a, to a veteran? But you know what? If we're going to get really good artists and we want people to keep recreating for us uh, NFTs in our space, um, then maybe we should just say, hey, if you're going to make 10%, you know, before on every sale, are you okay making 5% and a veteran get the other 5% and we do life change events with those NFTs even. Um, just so we can, I was just talking about the utility of it, just so we can keep growing it. Um, those, the, that utility and then the uh, blockchain, uh, the blockchain bridge was utility that, I mean, we talked about this on other AMAs that right now it is not easy. I mean, I still joke, my mother-in-law cannot buy Ethereum to save her life. Two weeks trying to buy Ethereum, she ended up having to Venmo me, and I had to send her Ethereum. Um, it's just not easy, and I'm going. I want to go after the rest of the world. So if someone's attracted to that, if there's already crypto users in here, to be a part of a project where I want to go out and get other money um, that's not in the crypto space. Um, if only what they say, five percent of the U.S. is in crypto. I think it's twenty six percent or something like Australia. But even at twenty six percent of Australia, it's still fewer people in Australia in crypto than there is in the U.S. Um, by by volume. And so if we're going after the people, like the 95% or whatever it ends up being, we have a lot of children and stuff we're not going after, but we're going after the percentage not in crypto. I mean, that the attraction there, if we can make a bridge that works well enough and we're already like we're looking V1, V2, V3, where V3 would include uh, artificial intelligence, um, we think that we, we start adding all these things together that people look back. My goal is for people to look back in 2020 or 2022, even though we launched it in 2021, but look at 2022 is pre and post para Inu, like pre and post a different movement, a movement they talk about like we're trends. If we do trend set, Hey, and, and in order to have a successful project now, you need to be fully doxed. You need to be completely open about everything. Like you can't just, uh, I, I'm still seeing some projects I've been following. I don't know if they're bad or not. Um, um, obviously, there's some good projects like Saitama and Sh Shaman and um, and Shinobi and some good projects I still I believe are great projects. But there's some other projects I've been following that they cannot get the devs, the docs to, for anything, like nothing. And it makes zero sense to me. And all the stories I keep hearing about this, I'm like, wait a second, you have a what market cap and you're in control of how much money and no one has a clue who you are? It just doesn't make sense. And I think that that's, you know, if, if this is the way it's going, um, that if we can be ahead of it and... Um, and bring other people in and bring other people in to trust it. Then that's where all the new stuff, if you come to the space, this is the level of trust that is now everybody's used to. And that's, and that's because of what we're doing here. I don't know. I, that's a long answer to a question. I don't know if I answered your question or not. No, you did. You did because in the end, politics aside, right? People who are, are true, are true to this, this framework in crypto, if they want to make money, they're, everybody's going to be on the same level playing field when it comes to expectations. Risk is always there, but uh, I believe you hit the nail on the head because um, transparency and, and being doxxed and having knowledge uh, of, of demonstration and financials, it's, it's, it's a big, big deal, man. And uh, thank you for that. No worries, no worries. Thank you, Brian. Like I said, setting the standard on how moving forward, successful projects are going to want to you know map how they launch because now you got all these other projects and their holders even sitting there like i've been involved in this project for x amount of months and i still don't know who the main developers are whether it's a man a woman a person a thing who knows so that just puts the the, the holder in general ease of mind of knowing okay this is this is where my developer is and then also easy to get an access to he's very open to do stuff like this and obviously as we grow and we get ten thousand twenty thousand like people don't understand we're at two thousand nine hundred and forty four holders only so many people say man i wish i would have gotten this project at that point if i wish i would have got in that project in this point and the amazing opportunity right now is presenting yourself directly in front of you before any you know mass utility comes any 
you know, worldwide marketing comes, this is the time to get in. And like I always say, you know, I can show you the way, but I can't force you to follow me. Right. And, 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 the, and the same goes to where, you know, you know, it's, it's either you're getting on or you're not. So, you know, I, I, again, I'm excited to be a part of this project and not just for the anticipatory gains that I see coming and, and the new highs that we're going to hit, et cetera, et cetera. But the impact of what we're doing for veterans and their families is just, and this is what I talk about all the time. It's not about whether it's in the crypto space, the NFT space. I always say you have to look at the projects you're um, investing into. What's the use case and what's the community like, but what real world purpose is it serving? And is it serving something of good, right? Like I can sit here and say, you know what? I just put $10,000 into this project and I don't care if my 10,000 turns into 20,000, $2 million, or it goes down to 5,000. I know that I'm supporting veterans worldwide and that goes above any type of monetary gain. And just as just me speaking, honestly, making gains and everything on this obviously we all want to see towards financial freedom but again like you said there's so much utility that's coming and that still is nowhere near to be revealed and it's just my it's just like that it feels like christmas every day essentially like just waiting for things to just slowly come to fruition we're still in the beginning phases this coin launched december 27th right today is january 5th let that sink in people So we have okay. William, you were next, boss man, and then Major A to follow. Excellent. Thank you. Lee, one, thank you for doing the project. I appreciate it. And as a disabled vet who travels three hours to the Washington, D.C. VA because the Martinsburg, one that's closer, doesn't have the service that I need, I totally understand and appreciate that. Questions that I had was, basically covered by Slim, which I thought this was going to go sideways after I saw his name, because I've been in others with him and Faltron that went a little silly, and uh, the utility part of it. So, one, I appreciate it. Two, you're going to have a supporter, and I got a network of a whole bunch of military cyber people that just look at things like this, beat them up, and then tell all of our other friends yes or no. So, you got a supporter, and my questions have already been answered. I just want to say I appreciate it, and I'll step down. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I think, yeah, I think a lot of questions we have over and over again are going to end up just disappearing because as we start doing those things, people are like, oh, well, I don't have to ask that question anymore. They're actually, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. But yeah, no, I appreciate it. Thanks, thanks a bunch. You're welcome, man. Have a good one. Good luck. You too, man. Thank you. Major Alpha, you go. Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to step in and say hats off to you for introducing this project. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to have a, I already got a bag, but uh, obviously I, I'm very interested in following. Uh, I see Faltron here, TMC, Johnny T, some of the guys I follow and admire in other spaces. The one thing that I learned through crypto um, in this evolving, you know, Saitama community that I'm in is... A lot of times I get on these spaces and they're very necessary. Um, and I, I forget why I'm even, I'm in it for money, but the community of it all, the brotherhood and the camaraderie that veterans lose once they get out of boots, once they hang up the dog tags, once they retire, once they, whatever gets them out of service, that camaraderie we find back in these communities, even though, it gets a little wild west out here sometimes with differing opinions and whatnot. You know, that, that community draw, these spaces, uh, the honest, genuine words that are spoken in these spaces when people come on and testify, and, you know, like I'm doing right now and saying, hey, I started getting in crypto for the buck. I didn't know that there was going to be a great community with great things behind it doing hopefully great things for good people, you know. Um, so I'm very excited, very excited to be a part of the community here. Very excited to uh, see how our synergy builds up. Um, I can tell you the veteran community, the federal active duty community, the reserve, the National Guard community, our first responder communities, we're all type A personalities. Some of us are type triple A. So when it comes to uh, getting in a community, yeah, sometimes... 
we don't see things eye to eye, but when you tell us to dress her right, cover down, and fall in line, we're all gonna step off on our left foot and we're gonna do, we're gonna do the mission. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, I'm really excited for you guys understanding out there that you know, veterans. There's disabled veterans. There's non-disabled veterans. There's veterans we still have from Vietnam era. Veterans we still have Korea era. God bless them. Sometimes we still have one or two from. World War II era, we have all the desert era veterans. I mean, they come in all shapes and sizes. And sometimes, as I still am an active National Guard guy, I have drill this weekend, uh, I still see 18-year-old kids raising their right hand to, you know, serve our nation, even if it's at the state level, you know, even if I'm in California. So a lot of our first responses are to wildfires, floods, you name it. We had the civil unrest. But the point is, is that that community that you wish to to serve now is going to be forever grateful, but they are going to be the most scrutinizing because there's so many veteran organizations out there. You got wounded warriors and all kinds of folks out there. So I hope that you truly can take it to the next level. I Mm -hmm. have every faith and confidence that you will. Um, And remember, you can outreach and touch veterans at all levels, not just at the VA. Yeah. I mean, you, you can outreach with the USO and sponsor a barbecue for a unit this weekend if you wanted to and cook them a bunch of burgers. And that unit commander, that unit first sergeant, those soldiers, those 18, 19, 20-year-old soldiers who, who boots on the ground, they are going to be forever beholding to your community. And as we peel back the layers of the crypto community and the four or five percent of our whole globe that is involved in crypto and how we see this as a movement um, towards the future with the decentralized finance, with the use of the blockchain or where we could, what we could do with the blockchain, et cetera. I am absolutely thrilled that you're bringing our veterans into the fold. Like I said, you know, disabled, able-bodied, whatever. And most importantly, a lot of times these guys that I deal with daily have been deployed two, three, four, five times. And it's their families, the kids that didn't grow up with mom or dad or the kids that missed their mom and dad at their life events or the spouse, the caretaker, whatever, the brother, sisters, mothers, fathers that were left behind. Even if that veteran is not disabled and comes home 100 percent and gets back into the active uh, workforce, etc., sometimes those scars are left on those family members who sacrifice so much for that veteran to go off and be in the conflict or harm's way that they were. So keeping all this in mind, guys, hats off. I'm going to listen now. Uh, I'm going to follow you guys. I'm excited. Feltron, I've always seen you around. TMC, same thing. Um, So Johnny T, uh, hats off once again. And I look forward to seeing the, the great things that we have on the horizon. See you on the objective. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we got Mr. Jason next. If you have any questions, feel free to request. Um, you know, just hit that uh, microphone button on the bottom left. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. All right. hey, is this a, a program for special operators to give back to? Is a pro, is a program for special operators for or it's for us it's for us to give back to special operators and their families I mean for for military in general yeah but uh, all in all the time foundation works with the uh, special operations guys currently what we want to do I mean even to answer the last question too is is that we would be we would be a miss or we would be dumb really not to uh, work with these organizations that are already in uh, that are already working if we can if we can make them more effective. Um, and it also requires, and let's say we work with uh, all in all the time or we warrior we for different projects, but we say, Hey, these are the parameters. We're going to help you. We're going to, the pair of new families going to come behind and help for this project. But here's the requirements. You have to like this, this, this have to be done. We should make sure we're actually, what we're giving, what we're doing is actually not just paying salaries or something. You know, I don't want to, that's never something I want to do. Um, and you can go and check on different uh, charities on how much goes to marketing and how much goes to actual the the, the people that are trying to help. But yeah, I think we, we could use a lot of those vehicles they already have out there. 
and get out there like he's at the USO and different things. And we could, uh, as long as like we can verify that what we're giving is actually, actually happening and then make them, you know, give us marketing material from it. Um, but yeah, that's yeah. Why Can I, uh, request a nonprofit? Yeah. It's called uh, big sky bravery. It's out of Montana. It's a uh, silent professionals. It's all special op guys. Uh, helping their families and everything like that. I've got some family members involved in it. It's a, yeah, it's a good one, man. And that's all I wanted to say. Uh, like the project. Hopefully, you can give back to, give back to those guys, man. I've got a, I've got a boy that just came home from overseas with a, a couple gunshot wounds, man. So, uh, shoot, man. Yeah, he's, uh, he's doing okay though, but. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it, man. I love the project, and I'm gonna get off here. Thanks. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I wrote down Big Sky Bravery. We'll definitely look into it. I know there's some other ones. There's some uh, other ones in, in the U.S. They're uh, teaching uh, veterans how to farm. Like it's like almost. It's not only does it they can go be, become farmers, but they're also it's a, a, a form of therapy. There's a whole there's a whole nonprofit in the U.S. It's just about farming veterans. Uh, there's some just yeah. There's a bunch of bunch of good ones, but yeah, definitely. So anybody is open to come up and ask Lee questions, uh, whether you're new to whether investing in general in the crypto space, you just came here to, you know, see what was going on. Um,